And I'm willing to yield time to anybody on the panel. Mr. Critchaw, I recognize you. Uh, thank you, my colleague. Thank you to my colleague, and uh, I do have a few questions. You know, I, I want to say a few things first. We keep hearing this was this is a politicized uh, issue. This is a manufactured culture war. I got to say, we aren't the ones who did that. We aren't the ones that came up with this radical new movement that is performing permanent physiological changes to children with no evidence of any benefits. We we didn't start that. We're just trying to stop it because it's crazy. It's a contentious issue, which almost 70% of Americans oppose. So we are just saying here that taxpayer money shouldn't be used for it. That's all. This should not be that controversial of an issue. Um, questions are for Dr. McNamara. I, I just want to ask you, honestly, you're not concerned about the unknown effects of puberty blockers, hormones, and, and surgical interventions in kids, the long-term effects. Not concerned about that. Everything I've said here today comes from a place of deep honesty and conviction for the care that I provide and the community that I'm a part of. You've said that we've cherry-picked data. H how do you mean by what, how do you mean that? So it is very unscientific and flawed to pick a single study or a single statistic and to discuss it in isolation. Um, totally agree. Medical experts are able to talk about all of the evidence as a whole. Totally agree. So. It's good to look at systematic reviews, right? That's the gold standard of evidence when you're trying to understand whether something works or whether it doesn't. So the British Journal of Medicine looked at 61 systematic reviews with the conclusion that, quote, there is great uncertainty about the effects of puberty blockers, cross-sex hormones, and surgeries in young people. The Journal of Endocrine Society came up with the same conclusion, even the American Academy of Pediatrics. They all cite the lack of evidence. And so here's the thing. If you're doing a therapy, and it's you know temporary, whatever, it, fine. Maybe let's try it. Let's see if it works. But when you're talking about permanent physiological changes, do you not agree, just from an ethical standpoint, that you might want extremely strong evidence of the benefits? And there is no systematic review that, that states that there is strong evidence of benefits. Sir, are you aware of how the quality evidence grading system works and how it's applied? Yeah. Yeah, we've read through it. That's why I'm citing these journals. So which journal says something different? I'm, I'm, we should have that debate. Tell me a journal that has done systematic reviews that cites different evidence, that cites strong evidence for benefits of these therapies. The standards of care were developed based on extensive... You're not telling me any journal. You're not telling me any study. Don't That's say standards of I'm, care. Yeah. So... Um, Tell me one. The standards of care. That's the, the standards of care. That's, yes, that's, standards that's of not care. a journal. That's not a study. That's not an organization. That's not an institution. You're just saying words. Name one study. Yeah. I'm out of time. I yield back. The gentleman's time has expired. Mr. Dunn yields back. 